Whether you're marking a sports pitch, driving a tractor, using a hedge cutter or just driving to work, health and safety policies and assessments need to be in place and today we're going to learn all about it. Welcome back to another episode of Talk and Turf and today we have a very special episode where we're going to be talking about managing risks and health and safety within your business. And today we have someone from one of the leading software specialists for health and safety, Hanan from Bright HR. Hi Jack, you're right. Not too bad. Thank you so much for coming on to our Talk and Turf today. Thank you for so having me. We'll kick off and we'll ask what advice would you have uh, for any business or small businesses uh, trying to manage their health and safety? So the best piece of advice that I could give um, any business owner is you don't have to do it alone. Um, often the temptation is for them just to follow their own processes, but they could be wrong and this could actually lead to accidents. Um, outsourcing health and safety uh, to advisors or even having software to help manage it is probably the best course of action. Um, what's the, the biggest risk, I think, is what, would you have the advice from the start or would you rather deal with the accidents later? No, absolutely. So we try to manage our health and safety and stuff in-house for a long time, managed to keep on top of it. Um, but as we got busier, we, we, well, we use Bright HR on that platform. So it just makes sense uh, to have the cover you need. So what are the main dangers of avoiding health and safety within the workplace? So it couldn't, it it not only just puts you and your employees at risk, but it could actually lead to fines. Um, so the enforcing authority, the health safety executive, if they do an inspection on you and find out that you have not been uh, looking after your health and safety within your business, with the right documentation, reporting your accidents, you know, reporting your hazards, that could lead to like, very, very hefty and costly fines. Um, a really simple way to sort of prevent this is risk assessments, you know, finding out the hazards involved with the work you're doing, Get, um, calculating the severity and then putting control measures in place to make sure you know that harm does not happen and if it does what are we going to do to make sure it doesn't happen again. So if they do turn up and there's nothing in place is it too late to call someone like Right HR to get it sorted or? I mean it's, ne it's never too late I mean if they do turn up they probably will put us some sort of enforcement action on you if there is nothing in place but they will usually give you an improvement notice um, Worst case, a prohibition notice, they will shut you down. However, if they give you an improvement notice, they will give you time to sort it out. And that's why I would always recommend then out getting that competent source of advice from someone like us. Because uh, then we can help you get up to scratch with your documents, your risk assessments, everything you need in place. Perfect. So are there any areas within health and safety that you think might surprise someone trying to run a business? Or um, So we'll take your company, for example, your, your landscaping um, company. Um, one thing that you might not think of, obviously, you've got your machines and equipment you guys use, so that's probably an obvious risk and, and a hazard. But loan working, mental well-being, stress, that's all things that encompass um, when you know when you guys work on your own. So it's, it's always good to think about. Um, other things like allergic reactions from uh, you know bite stings, uh, if you guys wear gloves, um, I'm sure you guys do, you got your own PPE, um, you know, um, reactions to that. And then you've also got um, hand down vibrations from the tools that you use, you know, halves are something that's quite a big thing in the industry at the moment. So it's always good to sort of have precautions for that as well. And we've used the uh, BrightSafe software online and all the lads had to do their like, training programs and they were just so great. And some of the uh, questions and stuff we kept that came out of it from the lads doing it, yeah. Um, actually implemented some really great processes so we're glad we've done that and it was so easy. This is the thing, our system is so user friendly, um, easy to use. I always joke and say health and safety is complicated enough as it is, why would you have a management system to, to match and that's what, you know, luckily we provide that and again the advice behind it, we just work so well with the system too. So you, you actually know the right courses to do, not just doing ones for the sake of it. Perfect. So how can Bright HR help uh, businesses with on-the-spot hazards that they find? So with the advice and the system, it just keeping a check of your daily tasks, even your monthly or annual tasks, like renewing your insurance, it all encompasses it within our navigators. We have reminders to make sure you're doing those on time. Um, it, we can also spot hazards. So with the learning courses you mentioned, it, you know, it kind of gives you things to look out for. With the software, you can report those hazards really easily from the app or, or your the laptop. They then get reported to the responsible person. So for your business, that is yourself, Jack. Yes. So you then, you get a notification of that and you can then deal with that 
straight away and you have that audit trail and log to keep everything you know informed in there so if the HSE do come and look you know look see what you've got you've got it all documented because that's one of the things legally you have to document your health and safety findings so so would you advise if if you are working in a business so everyone jokes about like the accident book but would you advise literally logging everything in that audit trail or is it a case yeah, of yeah 100 percent. any accident that happens in the workplace i would always log it because if that if that wasn't logged and the employee goes home and something worse happens with that initial injury um it could come back on yourself as the employer so it's always really important keep yourself compliant record any accidents that you have just so you've got that audit trail so ordinarily uh, companies might pay a consultant to come in and do training within the workplace, whether it's manual handling, loan working and stuff like that. Is that something Bright HR can offer or? Um, I mean, we can offer someone to come out, but you honestly don't need to. The software has everything you need. So um, if they need access to risk assessments, the, the main person of that software can download them and send them to them. We have 60 e-learning courses, which are CPD and ROSPA. Uh, credited, so they've got external governing bodies with uh, stamp of approval, and we have stuff like manual handling, um, how to maintain equipment. You know, you, you must use quite a lot of different equipments in your business, so that would pair on for your guys. Uh, we've got manual handling, health and safety awareness in general, risk assessments, fire safety duties. We've got tons of content on there for different industries like construction, hospitality, horticulture, um, and care as well. Amazing! Thank you so much for your time today. Hanan, you've been great and thank you for uh, Bright HR for allowing us to come and do this. So if you're looking for more information on how to protect your team, your business and the structure of your business or anything health and safety, Bright HR are running a free webcast. The link will be in the description. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Bright HR for supporting us. So please go into the link in the description and support them. And not only is Bright HR's webcast going to fill your gaps on your health and safety knowledge, but you can also utilize their all-in-one platform to help you manage all of your health and safety or HR needs. Now here at Cut Crew, we use the Bright HR platform to track all of our HR needs, timesheets, absences, requesting time off, all of our health and safety training packages, any accidents, literally everything to do with health and safety or HR. So as I mentioned earlier, please log on to their webcast. You're gonna learn a load of stuff free of charge. And if you are interested in the platform, for putting all of your HR and health and safety needs in one place, click those links in the description. I also forgot to mention they've got a HR and a health and safety helpline, so if you're ever in bother, you can give them a call anytime. We have utilized that in the past as well. If you do have any questions regarding HR and health and safety, stick them in the comments. We will try and help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments if you have liked this video, share it to someone that needs health and safety or HR advice, and we'll see you in the next one.